Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add these tabs to your WordPress website. Now, if you want to learn how to create this from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript, I have videos on that. I will leave the link of those in the description below. Alright, so let me show you how this works. We can see that there are three tabs over here and when we click on another tab, we get this animation effect and the next content is being displayed. So this is what we're going to add in our WordPress website. I have also added a video on how to add this tab to your blogger website. I will leave the link of that in the description below as well. Alright, so let's get started. Here I am in the dashboard of my WordPress website and uh, let's go ahead and create a new post. So click on post and click on add new. And here we can add a title. So we'll just type features and then we can add our design right here. Now, since we have a custom design, we need to add HTML and CSS to our WordPress, but we cannot add it right away over here because uh, the HTML will be displayed as it is on your web page. So for that, you have to go to this options and uh, then click on code editor. Now, this is where we can add our HTML. So let's go to the source code and uh, I will leave the link of the source code in the description below so you can just copy and paste. So let me just copy this uh, tabs container division from here and I will paste it in our WordPress post. Now we can see that our HTML has been pasted in our post but all the paragraphs have disappeared and it has just uh, added this text over here with some line breaks. So whenever we have some text WordPress automatically adds a paragraph tag and when we have a line break it adds another paragraph tag so everything else is all right so let's go ahead and click on publish and then click on publish once more all right so our post has been published now let's uh, go back to the dashboard all right now it's time for us to add the CSS and the JavaScript so for that we'll use a plugin called custom CSS and JS. Now if you don't have this already installed and activated you can go to plugins and click on add new and search for custom CSS and JS and then install and activate the plugin. Now let's go into the plugin and uh, let's click on add custom CSS and uh, here we can just give a title so we will just name it tabs CSS and uh, let's go to our source code and let's go to style.css and we'll copy all the CSS from the tabs container till the end and we'll just copy it and paste it over here. Now here we have a couple of options so we can set the linking type so we'll just set it to internal and then for the second option we'll just set it as header and for the third option we have it in the front end so everything is set now let's go ahead and click on publish And our CSS has been updated. Now let's go to our post and see how it looks. So let's click on view. Alright, so this is how our design looks right now. We have some problem over here where all the content below our post has moved up. We'll be solving it using JavaScript. And one more thing we have over here is that our panels container doesn't have the full width. Here we see that the width should be till here but it does not have that width so let's right click and click on inspect and uh, let's go to the panel and uh, let's add a width of 100% over here and it works so we can add a width of 100% to the panel and then we'll also add the JavaScript so let's go to the custom CSS and JS and we'll click on all custom code and then just click on edit over here and then we will add our uh, width so here for panel we will add a width of 100 percent and let's update it all right so let's go back to our post and uh, let's refresh our page and we can see that now we have the full width for the panel now let's go back to our uh, plugin and we'll click on add custom JS and uh, we'll just give a title tabs JS and here we will add our JavaScript. 
So let's go back to the source code and uh, let's go to main.js. So this is the code that we're going to add. But first of all, let's make a change in our code. Now, when we originally designed these tabs, we just had one page in our uh, website. So it worked all right. But now in our WordPress website, we have a lot of pages and this JavaScript can throw error in other pages. Because if we add this JavaScript to our page, then all this code will be executed on every single page. Now, when it doesn't find any of these variables that we have defined over here, like WordPress button or blogger button and so on, then it will throw an error. So first we'll check whether we have the tabs on our page. And if we have the tabs, then this code will be executed. So let me just bring this code to the top. And here we will add an if condition. So we'll type if tabs container. Now this will check whether we have the tabs container in our page. So if we have that, then all this code will be executed. And we'll close the if condition right here. All right, now let's copy this JavaScript and we'll paste it in our WordPress. So just paste it over here. And here we have some options. And just make one change over here, which is where on page should be set to footer. And uh, then just click on publish. All right, our code has been added. So let's go to our post and uh, let's refresh our page. And now we can see that our tabs container looks fine. We have the correct margin for the bottom. Now let's click on another tab heading. And we can see that the animation and everything is working all right. All right, so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And uh, if you like this video, please click on the like button and uh, subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.